guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jessica and I created dolled up by Jay so in today's video I thought it'd be a really fun idea to do a video on exposing my Instagram posts so in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you a number of photos that I posted to my Instagram and explaining what was really going on in the background around the time of those photos because social media is a total illusion and you should never believe what you see online and I have some really funny crazy stories for you guys so I really hope you will enjoy the video and please comment below if you have any similar stories or anything you found funny because I would love to engage with you and of course before we get started if you do enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up because it really helps the algorithm and it helps grow my channel and show it to more fantastic people like yourselves so without further ado let's get to the video okay so for today's video I thought I'd make it even more fun and I got some candy I haven't seen candy like this from home in so long so I got some rainbow belts which are like my fave and then I got some sour skittles I haven't had in years although can someone explain to me like what happened to the blue raspberry like what is going on is this a Dubai thing like is this a Middle East thing like where is the blue raspberry and why in 2021 are we still selling lemon and lime flavored candy like there's so many options we could do sour raspberry sour cherry sour strawberry there's like guava passion fruit there's so many flavor options so that's just my rant um get yourself a nice snack like myself for this video and let's make it even more fun together mm. Okay, so the first photo, I'm starting with a good one. This is actually a photo posted to my personal Instagram account, but I thought I would share it anyways because it's a really cute photo and I was having fun in the moment. So in this photo, I had just gotten my boobs done like a month and a half before, so they were still like pretty high up. I went to Cabo for my ex's dad's 50th birthday and we were staying in our own condo and they were staying at a resort. It was literally one of the worst vacations of my life, but like for my social media, you would think I was having the best time ever. Literally, we went on this yacht cruise like a few days into the trip. We were there for two weeks and towards the end of the trip, like things were just unraveling. Like this was a relationship that needed to end like two years before it actually did. But I was so young when the relationship started that I was like, this is the person I'm gonna be with for the rest of my life. Like, you know what I mean? I was just so young. But this photo was taken about like, three or four years ago I would say. On this vacation we had gone on this yacht cruise and it was just like awkward and like we were both finding each other annoying and then we ended up going with his cousin who's still one of my like really good friends to this day. We ended up going with his cousin to this place called La Lupita in Cabo and if you guys are familiar with Cabo you'll know La Lupita is like the the best fried cheese shell tacos and like cocktails and all that. So while we're there I'm literally just like so miserable on this trip and I'm ordering like one shot of tequila at a time for no one else at the table just for myself and I was like I'm gonna get annihilated I'm just gonna get wasted we ended up having the biggest fight we were literally fighting in the street after we left the restaurant and I was like black out at this point I was like on like complete destruct mode like mutually assured destruction like let's go and we ended up having this colossal fight and breaking up in the middle of the street not caring who hurt us and his cousin filmed the entire thing because he thought it was hilarious and I was mortified but now that I look back on it I'm like that's actually hilarious because it was just so stupid and obviously we didn't get back together but it was just like it was a total and I ended up staying like the last two days of the trip and then we just went home together and then like that was it it was just like ugh. so don't believe you see everything on Instagram especially when you see people on vacation this next photo is a little more wholesome. So this is when I was working downtown and our offices were off of Main Street. They were temporary while our offices were getting renovated. I got a message from an old coworker, kind of out of the blue being like, hey, how are you doing some time? We should go for a coffee. And I was like, weird. We never hung out when we worked together for two years, but we always kind of like clicked. It's just a friendship. But I was like, oh, whatever. Like I'm, I'm, I have a new job. Like everything's kind of new to me. And I haven't, I could like maybe reevaluate my friend group at that time. So I was like, okay, let's go for a coffee. He ended up literally trying to sell me on joining this like insurance company that had no salary was only commission and he was like yeah I'll be earning six figures this year and like what are you earning now and it was like very personal stuff and I was like hey I'm not really comfortable disclosing like the exact amount of money I'm earning to someone I haven't seen in years like it's not really polite and so anyways he was like yeah it's the best like I'm so busy all the time like you can set your own hours whatever and I was like okay whatever like I went to the meeting for the company and I was like whatever let's just see and so then I went to the meeting and the meeting was just very like, I could tell from the get-go it was totally a scam. Like you're in this boardroom of people and they're selling you on the company and they're showing you like the top earners and like what the potential could be and et cetera. 
and um, they're really just selling it on like the top of the top but like you're starting at the bottom and they're like yeah there's no salary you need to have a car you need to pay for that car all on your own there's no business expenses involved we don't really give you anything and you need to also pay us for the training and then they took us one-on-one -on -one individually into these rooms and they were like yeah, I could really tell in there that, you know, you were a really good candidate. And I literally answered one question and it was like the easiest question ever. And I'm like, okay, I didn't speak up enough to like stand out from the crowd. You know what I mean? But it, it just seemed very like rehearsed. Like this is what they were saying to everyone. And I was just like, oh yeah, I'm really that different, eh? Like, mm -hmm, yeah. At the end, of course, they're like, okay, so the course will cost this much and when are you able to start? And I was like, I'm just gonna think about this. And it was actually funny because like, this guy had been posting how he was driving around Vancouver in like a BMW for months. And then when he hosted the meeting, this was the guy from the coffee shop. When he hosted the meeting, he was drinking out of like an Audi water bottle. And I'm like, okay, so obviously you've like upgraded your car. And then I find out a few months later, he's actually downgraded back to a Honda. So I'm like, okay, I guess your business hasn't been going like that great. I'm moving my face weird because like the light right now is bothering me. So it's like golden hour. Um, but yeah, so it was just weird. I just got weird vibes from the whole thing. And I was like, I'm not comfortable leaving like a salad job to go into a commission only position where like I'm literally gonna be given like really really old people or like not the not the greatest leads as like a new person starting out and then they expect you to like convert those into sales and like that's the only money you make I was like no I'm not comfortable with this and then he tried to ask me the same guy tried to ask me to go for coffee again and I don't even know why I just agreed to I think this was like this was after I went to the meeting or something. I don't even know, but it was just weird. And I just stopped talking to him after. Like, it was just like, I'm not interested in this. Like you clearly only wanted to like recruit me. So you would get like a bonus for recruiting someone. That's how it works. And yeah, I was like, you're not interested in being my friend at all. And that's it. They don't talk to him anymore really. Okay, so this next photo, I'd actually gone up to Whistler right as like the lockdowns were starting. So most of their hotels were closed, but there was a few of them open. And I just really needed like a getaway out of the city. And I actually got into like a big fight with a friend over it who were not friends anymore for like several other reasons. But she was making me feel really bad because like people were dying of the pandemic and I'm like going off to Whistler. And I was like, listen, we're literally just gonna be staying in the hotel room the entire time. There's no restaurants open, maybe going on a few walks, but like I'm not gonna be going up there with like a a big party crew like it's literally just like going to whistler there was literally three rooms booked in the entire west end it was actually really creepy and like you look out into the village at night and no lights are on like i've never seen anything like it they comped our entire room service bill for the weekend like, here you go thanks for coming and like free parking out front like it was like okay and yeah it was just a really like creepy weird trip and it was kind of dramatic because of the fight with my friend but at the end of the day i mean like me going somewhere during like lockdowns when they tell you not to leave was a bit selfish for sure but i mean you can interpret that however you really want to okay so in this photo this is like a typical like bathroom selfie i thought it looked really cute my little like off-white hoodie and all that i was in whistler again actually with my current boyfriend it was like a crazy weekend like the trip was supposed to be relaxing and then we had like people coming for the weekend so there was like four days of people coming and you were allowed to have people over but only i think about like maximum six people so and this was when like the lockdowns were easing so all the hotels were back open and all the restaurants were back open just with different like covid protocols and this was like back in December but then one of the friends that got invited ended up bringing like all of these random people I had booked a dinner reservation for everyone at like 8 p.m at this one restaurant and then all of a sudden like we kind of decided we didn't really want to go we had started drinking early and we were like whatever let's just stay here and play drinking games and like be cozy instead of like having to go out and it's cold whatever playing drinking games with some girls and then all of a sudden we don't know like where him and his friends are for two hours and I'm like what the f and he comes back with all of these like hose like hose for show into the house and i'm like where did you go for dinner and it was the place that i had booked the reservation for which he didn't invite me to and didn't invite any of us to and i was so livid and then he brought those girls back and i was like hey it's covid we have like maximum six people like this is crazy i'm like pissed off and this is like a trip you were invited to you didn't pay for the house you know what i mean and like me and my boyfriend were hosting i went into the bathroom that night and i was just like taking selfies because i wanted to get away from all of the like, randoms and then my boyfriend ended up kicking them out a few hours later and was like hey no this needs to go because i'm not getting a big ticket and this is like who are these people anyways you know what i mean but it was just like a really annoying night in this makeup look i actually really liked my outfit and my makeup it looked turned out really really cool i forget what palette i used i think it was the natasha denona mini gold palette it was just like a very vibrant gold like one of the most vibrant golds i've ever used in my life it was beautiful but anyways i was actually very sad on this night because i 
it was back when I was bartending and I was working um, New Year's Eve and I never worked New Year's Eve before. Like I always would pay someone to do it for me. But this, these last couple of years I worked it. Cause I was like, ah, I'm single, may as well like make money. And you know, instead of just sitting at home feeling sorry for myself. So I worked New Year's Eve and I just remember I was like so depressed. Like there was something about being somewhere everyone's celebrating on New Year's and like you're just by yourself and you're with your coworkers. And I was just like, I hate this and I never am doing this again. And then I never will work New Year's Eve again after that. So that was that, it was a quick, quick explanation, but thought I'd add it. Oh my God, so this photo, this is like, this was a weekend and a half. So I had been seeing someone for like, I wanna say like four months and like throughout the whole time, there was just a lot of red flags. I was kind of like, whatever, like I'm bored. And um, I had been single for like over a year and they like he literally lied about his age like he lied about like kind of like his work and he said he was like so busy like building this empire and i found out he was like barely like making enough to like get by sometimes but then would take me on these crazy lavish dates and like i didn't know that until after and i had just had my birthday the day before okay this could go one of two ways because i'm i'm nervous to invite like two different friend groups first of all how will they get along and then i'm also inviting someone that i was seeing at the time which like will he get along with everyone you know what i mean and it ended up being this crazy thing where he completely lied to me and told me he hadn't done any since january and apparently in the bathroom at my birthday one of the guys that another girl had invited was doing that which i had no idea apparently he was asking for some and they did it together in the bathroom and then i found out about that a few hours later and to top, make it even worse when we got the bill he left a really horrible tip for the server who I know very well. And he kind of like stormed off after the guy paid. And I was like, hey, is everything okay? Like they all took care of you well? And he was like, yeah, except your boyfriend. And I'm like, well, he's not my boyfriend. I'm just seeing him, what's going on? And he was like, he left me $7. And I was like, and our bill was like 200 and something. And I was like, oh my God, I feel so bad. So I gave him another like 60 bucks because I was like, this is so embarrassing. Like, especially somewhere that people know me, like they're never gonna let me live this down now. You know what I mean? It was so bad. And then he ended up literally making me cry outside the restaurant and like literally having like a fit. It was crazy. Like he, because he had taken me out the night before and then he wanted to come again to my other birthday dinner that night and then like literally ruined it. And I was crying and one of my friends had to come and get me in the middle of the street. And then we ended up just going to one of the clubs and I ran into a couple guy friends there who actually originally wanted to host a birthday party for me. But I was like, well, I can't have them host a birthday for me if I'm seeing someone because like, I kind of like one of them kind of had a crush on me. And so I didn't want it to like make things weird. So I had to choose one or the other and I chose wrong, but I ended up working out because they ended up making sure that we had a really, really fun night. And they were like, sorry about that loser you're with. And yeah, it was just like, it was bad. And and then I went to Victoria for a friend's wedding. That's where this photo is. And he had sent me flowers and chocolates and like a stuffed animal to the hotel room. And I was just like, I like emotionally ate all the chocolates within two days. And then I gave the flowers to one of my friends who was just, who just told me she was pregnant. And I was like, listen, these flowers might have bad energy. So it's up to you if you want to take them. But it was this like massive bouquet. And I was like, I'm not taking these home. I was in Victoria, you know, I had to go on the ferry, but that was a whole story and a half around that photo. It's like, don't believe what you see on social media. Okay, this story is on a more positive note and I think it was just a really cute story to share. So in this story, I was in the Belmont Residencia in Mallorca. So it's a hotel in the hills and I never thought I would fall in love with the hotel in the hills so much in my life. It was just like the most amazing fairy tale, perfect place. Me and my current boyfriend had come off a yacht for like two and a half weeks around Spain and that was amazing. And then we went to this hotel by ourselves. By that time, I had gotten so tanned from just being outside all the time that all of my makeup was just so pale on me and I felt like my lipsticks weren't looking good and like you know how color just wears differently when your skin is different i was just feeling like a literally an ugly duckling not to mention this hotel was like super bougie and fancy and like the restaurant was like next level but at dinner like every woman was in like long skirts and long dresses and just like so elegant and i had only really packed for like yacht wear like ibiza like we're partying and on a boat and like you know and so i didn't really fit the vibe and i just felt kind of like out of place and like not in my element you know what i mean and um, he ended up getting us like a chauffeur and we went downtown to Palma 
and literally got me like all new like beautiful nice makeup and like all new clothes like literally didn't complain about like how long i was taking trying stuff on didn't complain about like the cost like he was just like whatever you need like i was honestly just like so sweet of him and it was probably still to this day like one of the nicest things anyone's ever done for me because like i feel like most people would be like okay we'll book a cab and like i'll see you in a few hours go shopping you know what i mean and he was like no like i'm getting a chauffeur and he's gonna drive us around to everywhere you need to go until you find what you need and all the clothes you need so you feel good and the makeup and i was like that's so sweet and nice and i was just like like that's just so it was like honestly so 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 nice he always makes sure that i'm very taken care of and it's very nice and i'm so grateful okay in this next photo this is when i had just gotten my hair extensions done i honestly didn't love how they styled the hair like i wanted more curls like this as opposed to just like mermaidy waves but that's just how they wanted to do it and i was like hey whatever i've already been in the salon for like six and a half hours literally i was so tired and hungry i had, had like only coffee all day it was just bad and i also went to the salon with no makeup on because i don't know i just find like when you're getting your hair done sometimes and they're like splashing your face with water by accident your mascara could run and like it could, like half your foundation's off by the end of it and it just looks weird so i didn't wear any makeup so this makeup is actually completely photoshopped onto my face with some sort of like face editing app i've never added fake makeup onto myself like completely i've added highlight i will admit twice in my life i don't know what posts they're older posts but i've done that i've enhanced highlight rather not added but i've never done like a full face of makeup i actually think it turns out like pretty good like i was surprised i was like oh is that like eyeliner below and above with just a natural lash like what would never do that normally but i think it turned out actually really cool um yeah they did a good job with my hair so that's a little behind the scenes for you and this last photo is like germany drama um so i was in the hotel i guess i won't say the hotel name it doesn't even matter now if you go to my posts from munich you might see that i was in this hotel in munich and i had been filming i was filming the um my review of the huda beauty like chin lift mask and i had been like trying i've been so excited about that video didn't get that many views which is weird but whatever and i had posed on the bed with the mask just in this photo i just thought it was like cute and fun and just like spa night vibes you know what i mean and i tagged the hotel and we've been staying in this hotel for like almost a month so we were like well known around the hotel like all the staff knew us like they were nice whatever and then i get this random message from a marketing manager who is like hello we understand you're using our hotel rooms to film a commercial and this goes against like german bylaws and you need to contact us and explain the context of this and i was like what and we literally went my boyfriend arranged a meeting with the manager of the hotel and the marketing manager because he was like why are they messaging you like that that's rude it wasn't just that if it was legal or not the message was just like a little bit crass and rude or like german you know what i mean like they can be very like i love german people i think they're kind of hilarious and amazing but they can be very direct it might not mean to come off as rude, but to like Canadians especially, we can be like, oh my God, wow, like there's no sorries after every sentence, like, you know what I mean? So we had a meeting with them and they were just like, you know, we think that your blog and your YouTube is great, but you can't be um, posting that you're in the location unless it is saying not an ad or not a collaboration with the hotel. And so that was honestly just short-sighted on my part because I didn't look up the branding like sharing laws it wasn't a paid commercial at all it was me just filming a youtube review but i guess the german laws are very strict about that kind of stuff and you have to specify like not paid and sort of any post that you're in like a public hotel that way they know the hotel isn't involved with it or something like that but then i was like okay so if a girl is post is posing in the lobby of the hotel and tags the hotel and tags chanel with her purse are you gonna go after her like you know what i mean and they were like well it depends like we evaluate each post and i'm like okay you're not because that was the thing as i looked at the hotel tags online and they had so many like influencer girls there like tagging all these brands of stuff they were wearing and tagging the hotel and there was no comment on their social media you could see saying you need to take this down or whatever because obviously they're making the hotel look good whereas like i'm laying in a bathrobe with a mask like probably they're like untag us please you know what i mean but that was just like a little bit of drama and he was literally like are we gonna have to change hotels like is this gonna be an issue or are you guys gonna keep messaging her like i was just like okay i'm sorry i'll change the location tag and then we didn't move hotels and like they were very nice about it but she did tell me that if i wanted to keep filming on the premises i had to send her 
a list of stuff I wanted to film and make sure you couldn't tell that the room was recognizable. So that's why like in my Halloween makeup tutorials, I actually filmed them in that hotel and I made sure to do it on like a blank background because obviously they're gory and like I didn't want to have any like negativity from that. But my Sandro lookbook was filmed in that hotel room and you can very much tell it's that hotel and they didn't say anything about it. So I just like let I left it up there and whatever, whatever, you know? But yeah, that's it for exposing my Instagram post for today, you guys. This is a new type of video. I really hope you enjoyed it on my channel. I hope it was entertaining. I hope you learned something fun about my life behind the scenes. And if you have your own funny stories you want to add, I would love to hear you in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this, please subscribe to my channel and I would love to have you back here. And also like the video for the love of God. It helps me out so much. Me and my rainbow belts are gonna go. Enjoy the day. Bye guys.